left my country, Syria, because of the war, I moved to a new school here in Lebanon. I had a lot of difficulties in making friends, although there were a lot of Syrians. I used to raise my hand so high to answer every question, and I seemed to be the teacher's pet. That was mostly because I was considered the new kid at school, and when I get an answer correct, I get complimented. Some students started calling me a nerd, and I didn't know what it meant back then. <laughs> when I got home, I was so excited to find out what nerd was. I even thought to myself, yay, finally! My classmates found a compliment that goes with my personality. <laughs> but when I looked it up online, I saw pictures of a guy holding a huge pile of books with thick glasses and very short hair. I was like, wait a minute, I don't wear glasses, so I wanted to look deeper into it. When I looked at the definition, it said, a label that describes an intelligent person. I stopped full of joy and eagerly wanted to continue. So I did, and it said, but is also socially inadequate. But I'm not socially inadequate, but still, that's what they called me, and it turned out to be a word that doesn't fit me at all. Next day, I went to school acting differently to prove to them I'm not a nerd. So in other words, I was making fun of myself. I became too shy to raise my hand, even if I knew the correct answers. But still, I was called a nerd, because of that action that isn't strong, I was judged and that label was already stuck on me. From that point, I thought of it all in a very different way, which is that I'm not going to change who I am for other people if I'm not convinced. So I stayed being <laughs> So I stayed being who I am and not who they think I am. One day, I went to the eye doctor, and guess what? <laughs> I had to become a nerd because I had poor eyesight. <laughs> the following year, I changed the school to a place where they admire concentration on every single thing. And most importantly, thank you, God, I wasn't called a nerd. But still, instead, I was called a dictionary. <laughs> and when a teacher would ask what a word means, all my classmates would look at me. And when I'd say, I don't know what it means, they'd all respond with, just flip your page. And they'd come and turn me around. <laughs> but they'd never find the word they want. I've learned my lesson from the old experience. I'm not a nerd and never was, because trust me, I'd rather prefer any holiday over studying or going to school. <laughs> what they called me didn't bother me at all this time, because I don't believe I am the person they think I am. And even though I can't go one day without them calling me what doesn't fit me or bugs me off, they're all my friends, and I've learned how to ignore it. Thank you.